Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jen and this is Fairby. Today we're gonna talk to you about enrichment for your dogs. So there's a lot of different ways you can provide enrichment for your dogs. So this is of course environmental, sensory, cognitive, all different types of enrichment. And I'm sure there's probably a lot more. Today I wanna to talk to you about things that I do for Fairby and a few ideas that I have that might be fun for you guys. So I think the first most obvious thing is puzzles. So we have a lot of different puzzles. We have puzzle balls. We have puzzle toys. A puzzle? So those are pretty basic. I think most people know about those, but Faraby loves the stuffed animals and the little stuffies that have multiple pieces to them. So we have unicorns and a rainbow right now. We have had ponies in a barn. We've had fish in an aquarium, um, chipmunks in a log. You get the idea. It's usually like a toy and then it'll have several pieces, little stuffed animals that will come out that squeak or something and they have to get them out. Um, we also have what I call Slinky Dog. It is not a Slinky Dog, but that's the that's just what his name has become over the years. But it's basically a bone where all the little pieces go on and the dog has to get that off of there. And she loves that one. Other ideas of toys or games you can play with your dog that would be enrichment activities are egg hunt. So think Easter eggs, fill them with a little bit of food or a special treat and hide them around your house. Find them! Getting so fast. Oh, Mama is a good egg hider. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Good job. This is kind of next level puzzle just because they actually get to walk around and look for it. We did this at Easter time. So we got Easter eggs because of that, but you can usually find that type of stuff at a party supply store where it's just something that would close and you can fill it with something. They usually have that type of stuff, you know, for little kids for party favors. So that's an easy thing you can do and it's pretty inexpensive and it gives your dog something to do because they're actually looking around, you know, your whole entire house for whatever it is. You can also do things like Kongs, licky mats, slow feeders, snuffle mats. So a lot of people will freeze Kongs. You can also get a topple and stuff it with different layers and freeze that as well. I'm gonna link somebody who does really good topples for you guys. Um, her name is Tori Mystic and she has a podcast and also she posts a ton of awesome topple ideas on Instagram. So I'll, if I can remember, I will link her for you guys but she has a lot of really awesome ideas for topples, so I'll link her. Other ideas that we like that are not traditional puzzles are ring toss and basketball. So Faraby really likes to get the rings and put them onto the ring toss. Obviously, it's not really toss for your dog, it's just taking the ring and putting it on, you know, onto the holder, but she really likes that a lot, and that's one of her favorite things to do. She doesn't get a treat for it or anything, you know, it's just something for her to do but she likes that because it's interactive between us and it really is a challenge for her to get that ring on to the top of you know the ring toss holder She also likes basketball a lot, so that's just a little Nerf basketball. We got ours on Amazon, but you can also get them at the grocery store a lot of times. She likes that a lot because it's an engaging activity between us, and I think it, 
thank you. I think it makes her feel successful and like she's doing something cool. If you don't want to invest in something like that, you can show them how to put their toys in a basket. That's also enriching for them because they're doing a two-part exercise. Basically anything that's going to be problem solving skills for your dog is going to get their mind working and help them to, you know, use up some of their brain power slash energy. And it's going to tire them out. It's going to be really awesome. So enrichment is basically having your dog engage in an activity that's gonna stimulate their mind and keep them active at the same time. This is gonna help reduce boredom, it's gonna reduce barking, and it's gonna reduce destructive behavior if your dog is destructive, if they're chewing or doing anything you don't want inside the home. A lot of times they're just bored and they don't have a way to get that out. So they decide to chew or do something, tear stuff up because they don't have anything to do. If you give them things to do, a lot of times it helps them to be less destructive. It also can build your bond. If it's an interactive toy or interactive activity, that is gonna engage both of you together. You can even use trick training as an enrichment behavior. This would kind of be next level tricks. So I wanted to mention that we have trick ideas as well as ideas of things to do with your dog in our digital planners. And they are listed on Etsy. I will link them below for you guys. Um, agility, that can be an enrichment activity. Obviously, so many dog sports are enrichment activities. Dog sports are expensive and time consuming, so I understand not everyone can do those but dog dive, barn hunt, agility, any of those would be totally awesome things for your dog to be involved in and it would enrich their life. You can blow bubbles for your dogs. They make dog bubbles that have a scent that's something that dogs would like. So some of them are like bacon flavor or chicken flavor or something. And you can blow bubbles for your dogs. That gives them something fun to look at, to chase, to smell. So that's a few senses in one and that's awesome. If your dog likes water, you could get a baby pool and fill it up a little bit and let them splash around in it. Let them go on a sniffy walk. So a sniffy walk would be where they get to just keep their nose to the ground and just sniff and engage in whatever they want. So if you do this, just make sure that you are kind of looking out for them and making sure they don't get into things they shouldn't. So think rose bushes, cactus, ant hills, things like that, that dogs would, you know, throw their nose down, they could accidentally get into it. So. You kind of have to monitor this one. I feel like, of course, I'm sure other people don't feel like that, but hey, are you helping? You can take them to a different park, take a different route on your walk. Car rides with the windows down can be enriching. So opening the windows is a great enrichment activity for your dog and it's totally free. So that's a good way. Like I said, hiding things around your house for them to find where they understand they're looking for something, that's good. You could put treats in toilet paper rolls and fold the ends down. You can take the paper like you stuff in a gift bag. I don't know what it's called, but the stuffing paper, you know, the, the thin paper stuff and wrap some treats in that and hide it. That would also be a thing for them to hunt and it would be a thing for them to rip. So that's awesome. So ripping stuff is sometimes fun for dogs. So you could just let them have that kind of paper. So some cognitive enrichment ideas for things to teach your dog would be anything that would be problem solving. So anything that would be like a two-step trick for them or where they have to actually go from point A to point B, anything like that could be cognitive enrichment for your dog. So think take toys out of one place and put it into another, um, like open a cabinet. So Farabee knows open a cabinet take an object out, hand it to me, and shut the cabinet back. That was a really hard trick for her to learn and is enriching for her because, you know, she's doing multiple parts of things and she feels useful. You can tell it like gives her a sense of pride when she does that one. So anything they can like help you with, that would be enriching for them. So you have to think dogs are made to work. So even if you don't have a dog who is working, they still like to feel useful, just like we do. It makes you feel good to feel like you're needed and that you're doing something and that you've you know, helped in some sort of way. You can have your dog help you with laundry. So this might be, you know, have them hand you stuff out of the laundry basket to put in the washing machine. Obviously word buttons for your dogs, that's a huge enrichment thing. And the reason this is enriching is because they can actually press it and tell you what they want and they have to actually put together, you know, the sentence or phrase or whatever they're trying to ask for. So I feel like that's enriching too. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this gave you some great ideas for how to enhance your dog's life. I'm gonna link a subscribe button up here. I'm gonna link a playlist of things to do with your dog here. And I'm gonna link a video just for you here. And we will see you soon. Bye guys.